All right, let's shift gears. Check in on Salem now on the state capitol. It seems like we unfortunately talk a lot about sexual harassment allegations against lawmakers here in Oregon, including last night. So tonight we're going to focus on a lawmaker in trouble for a different reason. It's a nice change, you know, by and by in trouble. I mean, in trouble with the law. I'm sure you remember this video from December of Republican Representative Mike Neerman opening the door to far right protesters who were trying to get in to the Capitol building. It happened during a one day special session in December. Unlike the insurrection at the US Capitol, which happened a few weeks later, these guys, they didn't get very far. You can see state troopers rushed in and pushed them out. Well, in April, Nearman got hit with two criminal charges, official misconduct in the first degree and criminal trespass in the second degree. And at the same time, the legislature hired an independent investigator to really look into what happened. So last night, that investigator dropped this report and in it we learned that the capital facilities services manager david hartsfield filed a conduct complaint against representative nearman his job involves basically building security so you can imagine the kind of day he was having back in december when those demonstrators were breaking windows to try and get into the oregon capital here's what the investigator determined according to his report quote the evidence supports a conclusion that Representative Nearman more likely than not intentionally assisted demonstrators in breaching security and entering the Capitol and that his conduct is more likely than not set into motion a chain of events that impeded the ability of Mr. Hartsfield and others to function in the workplace and denied them the benefits of the workplace. So. That investigator says she came to the conclusion, basically, based on what she calls, quote, indisputable video footage, which we showed you, as well as interviews with Hartsfield and a group of Democratic lawmakers who also raised concerns about Nearman. That includes House Speaker Tina Kotek, by the way. The investigator says that Nearman himself wouldn't talk to her because his lawyer told him not to. He also hasn't responded to our requests for comment on this story. So now that this report is out, what happens? Well, lawmakers in the House Conduct Committee are going to meet next week to talk about what, if anything, should happen to Nearman. He's already been stripped of his committee assignments and he's faced calls to resign. In the meantime, he has another court date on June 21st for those criminal charges. We will keep you posted.